Hi Gemini, welcome to your last reading of 2022. This is for the 26th of December to the 1st of January 2023. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. I do appreciate it. I do every every single one of you like and subscribe, please. Um, all right, Gemini, let's get to it. Five card, horseshoe spread. Energy on the bottom, three of cups, which is um, the friendship card. A real, real sense of love and confidence and trust between people here. You're chained to each other. But it's it's a happy chain, you know. Your 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 water is spilling into other people's water. There's a real sense of kind of coming together, really enjoying each other's company. True friends, true loved relatives, you know. Fantastic! What a great time to get that card, and that's infusing the whole of the read across the bottom here. So we have present position, present expectation, unexpected, short term, future, next five, six, seven days, long term, future, next one, two, three weeks. So we start off with, uh, we start and finish with sixes. We have the uh, six of wands, triumphant victory. Um, the lion's eaten the hunter, which is, you know, why are we happy about that? Well, maybe the hunter was wiping out all the lions, so he needed to be stopped. Whereas normally we'd side with the human over the lion. Well, some of us would. Um, the knife in the ground is an end to hostilities. And the banners are out because people are going, yeah, well done you, you know. So it's a, it's a victory that people can see. So... You know, if you celebrate Christmas, it's putting the, the banquet down, it's putting the Christmas dinner down, everyone go, wow, well done you, great job, you know, love it. But then it gets eaten. You know, you, you, you move on to the next one. Present expectation is you're expecting this in another reading, which was the deck I used the other day. Um, it might have been the Wild Unknown, but they described it really well. They said the Ace of Swords is like sheet lightning. You know, when you can see everything for just one nanosecond and you can see for miles and it's all high contrast so you can just see the building and the tree and the horse and the cow and the cow you know bang straight away and that's what this is it's a, a real clanging bell it's a light bulb moment it's it's the light going on and you're going got it right i know what it is people are talking about now real clarity as well love to see this card here so that's your present expectation so you're expecting it to go really really well Lots of fun times with family and friends. Love it. What's unexpected is something is going to come in from left field. It's unexpected. Nothing you could do about it. You know, even on this card, this figure, crown for power and control, um, bouquet of flowers for um, aesthetic beauty and peace. Both of them are shattered by this, this whatever it is that came in and just crushed it all. Hope still remains. And, but it, it's a real kind of cathartic moment. It's, you know, I don't want to say something because it could be anything, but, you know, I don't know. And it doesn't have to be negative. There you go. I, I was thinking of lots of negative things. It could be that on Christmas Day, your niece tells you that, you know, she's going to have a baby and it's actually going to be triplets. And you're like, what? You know, could be the most exciting news. No one was expecting that. Really kind of came out of the middle of nowhere and then there's lots of conversations about how can you afford it where are you going to live where's the partner you know all all those other conversations that go around it but and there's a the the other thing about the tower card is there's the realization there's a suddenly um like this the light bulb moment goes on so it's it's a great card of um what did they call that let me just find this for you because he described it really well i had it in another read um just bear with me just for a sec i'd rather read it from here than try and do it as an ad hoc thing come on tower where are you hiding um i do apologize there we go yeah there's an epiphany right unpredictable and disparaging events where is it down there, there you go um in the middle of this, there is a possibility of a great epiphany and a moment of realisation. Ensure this uncomfortable moment is a learning experience. So there's going to be this dawning realisation when this happens as well. And the tower is an unexpected card anyway. To have it in the unexpected position is kind of doubling down. That's why I'm spending a bit of time on this. Because this is great. Really, All these three cards are fantastic. And it's almost like this is on Monday. Boom, this happens on Tuesday. What happens after that? Well, what happens after that is there's a load of action, a load of momentum, a load of news, and that's driven by this unexpected event, as you'd expect. But it's a positive time. It, it, there's no negativity here, even if what's happened is could be considered a negative. Everyone kind of rolls their sleeves up and gets on with it. You know, you, 
that, I don't know, the electricity goes off at someone's house, you all pull together so you make sure the food doesn't go off and you have the party at someone else's or someone's a, an electrician and fixes it. You know, there's that real coming together, but there's a sense of urgency and action and movement there. So that's the whole of that next week. And then your slightly more long-term future, after all of that, there's this, we, we're off on a new journey then. We, we are, um, you look down here, there's tiny boats in there. And these huge swords, these are all the burdens, these are all the worries that are kind of old and useless and worn out, but they seem really massive to you, you know, really dangerous. And they're not. They're more dangerous for falling over than anything else. But it's a card of, of moving away, and it could be a literal move to somewhere else, but definitely a moving away from the kind of thinking that's held you back in the past. So victory, love, lo lovely kind of romantic, warm family feeling here. Everything's going beautifully. Light bulb moment, something unexpected. There's a load of action based on that unexpectedness. And then the result of that is just moving away from that kind of thinking that didn't serve you before, which again all comes back to this. So it could be that this drives that situation or it could be that this makes you think twice and you go, do you know what? If we went back to the, the example I gave of your nieces having triplets. Does that mean that somebody goes, do you know what? I'm in a relationship where my other half doesn't want to have children and I really, really do. That's made me think it's time to move on from this person. Yeah, Or it could be that this situation, same thing again, niece with triplets has made the two people in this relationship here and again, can be same sex, it's gender neutral tarot. Tarot doesn't care what gender you are. If if you are, if you identify as a paperclip and, and a cup of tea and you want to have a child, it's like, yeah, fine, they want to have a child. Let them have a child. You know, it's 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 driven by this unexpected thing. It drives something along here. It's gonna be really interesting, this really interesting Gemini. Gemini triplets, should I should I have said twins when I was talking about Gemini? Mm. It's interesting. My son's a Gemini, my only son, so I wonder what that means. But let's clarify and see where we get to. Um, it's almost over. Nine of Wands, quite simple. It's the it's it's before you hit the Ten of Wands, which is the Burden card, which I believe was hiding behind there. Yeah, the Burden card there. Um, so he's bandaged, he's worn out, you know, he's exhausted, but he's already taken eight of those ones off people and he's got his own ready to do it again. It's a bit like, really? You're still in the fight? You want to fight me again? Okay, then. This is a card of um, <coughs> determination. <coughs> Pardon me. Never giving up. Continuing the fight. On top of the ace, you know we have that light bulb moment where you go, oh, I can see clearly now. Am I strong enough to to do what I've seen? You know, it could I mean it could be something negative, like you've you've caught your other your your partner doing something they shouldn't. You know, have you got the strength to leave them? Have you got the strength to stay with them? Yes, you have. Uh, on top of the tower, we have the five of wands, which is a card of uh, seven. Sorry, um, it, it's a card of. <coughs> pardon me. Really simply, it's a card of victory. This is you on top of the hill. Lovely determined face on that. I love the illustrations on these. They, they just knock it out of the park. That is a card of someone who's going, really, you six again? I'm just going to knock the swords, I'm going to knock the ones out of you. In fact, it's the same fella with the bandaged head in here. Yeah. So we know he wins because he's still winning on, on card number nine. So, you know, I could not make it any clearer, Gemini. Do you win this week? Yes, you do. Uh, is it a fight? Yes, it is. By fight, and yeah, I don't mean fisty cuffs. Fisty cuffs? What are you, 1930s, Steve? Um, I don't mean a literal fight, but that kind of, oh, do we have to go to your mother's instead of my mother's? Do we have to be there by three o'clock? You know, there's a fight, but you win. You know, you will not be taken down on this. You will not be ground down. Um, because you keep your focus, keep your focus, your determination. The other thing that's really good about you is you're able to spend time on your own and the rest of them can go hang. You know, that's a really powerful energy. Some people are in relationships or they're still living with their parents or, or with friends or whatever because they don't think they could bear themselves when they're on their own. What a strange kind of logic that is. You don't have that at all. You know, you're quite happy in your own company. You're quite happy with the affluence and abundance that you've got. You are focused, you're intent, you're able to give away these six coins because you've got another three and you know you're going to grow some more you know it, it you're the very epitome of being able to pour from a from a 
Um, you know, you can't pour from an empty cup. You are the very epitome of an ever-filling cup. You know, it's like, I can share this, I can do this all day, because I know tomorrow I'll be right back where I was, I can do it all again. Fantastic. And then we have the magician. This could not go any better for you, Gemini. It really couldn't. You are literally... Um, uh, what's the word? Um, oh, the word I'm thinking of. Master of all you survey, but in a really nice way. You've got the strength to do, you've got the determination, you've got the focus. The magician card is a card, the master manipulator, but in a really positive way. All the tools in the in the tarot are on the table in front of him. You know, the wands, the swords, the cups, the pentacles. As above, so below. He's pointing at the ground. He's using the, the rod of power to draw that energy down and ground it into the earth to make it real. Uh, and again, the expressions on these faces. It's like, yeah, I've got this. Lemniska above his head. I can do this all day long. You are literally the top of the food chain next week, uh, Gemini. Absolutely love it. And at the end of all that, you're just going to want to put your feet up. That's the seven. The seven there is, yeah, look at me doing such a fantastic job. See the pentacles repeated again. Um, you're doing a fantastic job. It's just a, oh, you, if this is a card of looking at yourself and going, do you know what? I'm doing a fantastic job. I just put my feet up for 10 minutes and then I'm going to get on with wrapping the presents. You know, you just start the process all over again. There's a very, very stepwise approach this week. Same with this. It's a victory, but once you've eaten the food, what do we do about the next meal? You know, it's it's really sort of well done you. That's phase one complete. Now phase two, phase three, phase four. But you're in for a fantastic week, Gemini, and an early couple of um, weeks in 2023 as well. I will be doing a... Um, 12 month reading between Christmas and New Year so I'll launch that then that'll be a card for every month and one in the middle for a general theme so I hope you can join me for that in the meantime have a fantastic holiday season and I will see you in 2023